Welcome everyone, it's EpinHusa57 here. Today I am on a pretty much brand new game for console. It's been out a little while, but I just found the trailer and thought it looked super badass. That is the game Crossout. So basically it's a vehicular destruction uh, team deathmatch kind of game. And, well, this is going to be my first impressions and gameplay for it. You know me, I like to keep the videos about an hour long. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I've literally done nothing on the game. But uh, let's see if it lives up to the hype. Is it going to be a good game or not? Looks cool, but you know what they say about trailers. Looks can be deceiving. So once again, into the breach we go. And pretty much the only thing that it will let you do is select practice. So that's fine. This is just the tutorial portion, but uh, I didn't want to spoil anything. Um, okay, so vehicular movement is triggers. Alright, that's not too bad for a movement system. Right stick controls the camera aim. And then weapon group. Alright, it can definitely be... Yeah, it's definitely a bit touchy when it comes to sharp turns, at least with this vehicle. Alright. Maybe that will be changed a little bit later on. I could see where you could easily get stuck on stuff. If you're, especially if you're used to other games like Halo. Was able to run into it. That's cool. Alright, I got both machine guns reloading. It's uh, gonna be a little bit interesting to be uh, no force reload, though. I wish there was force reload. That's one thing that I see right off the bat because there's no ammo count display So you don't know when your weapons are going to be reloading and when they're not going to be reloading like prior to them actually reloading Wow Layers are not loading in that's um disturbing All right, so open factions menu sure why not what am I manufacturing part blueprints? All right, let's see what, what do we have for manufacturing. Rent a workbench to build parts you need. Huh. Um, okay, well, it says it's free, so why not? Do you really want to rent this workbench? Well, uh, it's not costing me anything, so yeah, sure. Build part. Okay, so I gained... I gained resources to unlock the LM-54 Chord. Alright, well, it doesn't exactly say real weapon system. Great against weak points, allow you to quickly dispatch enemies at medium range. Looks like a 30 caliber machine gun, roughly. Sure, why not? Let's build it. Manufacturing takes time. Okay. How long does it take? Oh. That was quick. Wow. Uh, relatively low damage. High fire rate. Medium range. Medium accuracy. Time to overheat. All right, that's what it is. Energy drain, two points, mass. All right, so that's obviously going to be some things that we have to keep in, um, like in mind here, building a vehicle. Energy drain. Not sure. Does that mean I need a bigger engine, or does that need I, uh, like, bigger batteries? Uh, how how customizable is this? 
Um, where do I go from here? Okay. Now I need to return to the garage. I wish they would have said that. The floating cursor thing is a little bit confusing, to say the least. Then again, this is just the tutorial. Equipment installation. Mount a third machine gun. All right, let's mount a third machine gun. Bam, machine gun. Mount the part in your vehicle with A. That's nice. I don't want to... Well, I didn't really want to mount it there, but it didn't let me move the part. Uh, let's see, day one. Oh, this is sign-in rewards. Okay, that's kind of cool. So if you sign in for 10, no, 15 days. All right, you can get scrap and you can get loot containers. That's cool. I like that. Uh, let me try and move this weapon. I don't really like it on the, the hood of my car. No, no fire rain. Wow, there's literally no, uh, no good spot to mount that thing. The only good spot is basically the hood of your vehicle. Wow, okay, movement controls. Really weird. Guess I'll mount it there. Right on the, the front of the car. That's probably not the best place to honestly mount that. Guess, I guess where they had it, sure. We'll keep it where they had it. I mean, the tutorial must know something, right? All right, season, what is season? Choose a difficulty. Uh, seasonal missions complete missions to get rewards you can change your agent at any moment and keep the progress if you don't complete the mission before the season ends progress will be lost missions are completed in pve and pvp all right well the fear and loathing guy looks freaking gnarly but uh i don't know we're just gonna we're gonna go with easy for now I want the scrap. Um, okay. Now what? Can I start the mission? Destroy 50 raiders. Use cannons. Uh, I don't have a cannon. Yell, rip me. Alright. Where am I supposed to go now? This tutorial is less tutorial-y more uh like okay um i guess i go to battle L dude it literally doesn't tell me where to go at all doesn't tell me where to go or what to do. Raids. Brawls. Brawls are locked. Most of the raids are locked. I have no idea what this green fuel currency is. Fuel is spent on raids. And refills every day. Okay, so that's like a time currency. I guess uh, the only thing for me to do is to do get the machine gun. I really want to do this get the cannon, but... Okay, it requires level 6. So I guess we'll just do get the machine gun and be done with it. What is What is that machine gun that we can get? It's literally the same machine gun that I have. Alright. 
this is definitely confusing because the tutorial literally stops being a tutorial and starts being a just go play I guess well I may be getting destroyed oh yeah I'm, I'm playing these are actual players here all right And that would be me driving into a car. Controls could be a, a touch better. Really? Dude, other fucking player pushed me into a tree. Um. Okay. Well, that didn't, uh, take very long. Daily missions, survivor raids, win seven raids. Well, I'm not in a raid. Destroy 50 raiders using cannons completed in easy raids. I don't have a single cannon yet. Alright. Well, I don't know what, if anything, I got from doing that. And it looks like this is literally just all of us basics. Like, nobody really, uh, has many upgrades, it looks like. I'm gonna go through the swamp. Oh, swamp is not a good idea at all. Okay, yeah, driving is, is a bit weird in this game. Kind of like driving on ice type shit. At least a little bit like that. Oh, I got a reward. What did I get? How the hell? Oh, there we go. I got a fuel barrel. Alright, what does this do? Structure and mass allows... To receive fuel in PvP matches. Gives five fuel. Does not stack with multiple barrels. Upon destruction explodes. Okay. Alright, so you can earn fuel by doing these little matches as opposed to only doing the big, big matches. I gotcha. That makes sense. So the raids that take fuel, if you put a fuel barrel on your vehicle when you're doing these little PvP like these little skirmish parts, those fuel barrels will give you fuel. So it would take, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it would take four of these PvP matches to actually gain one uh, or enough fuel for one raid. I need nitrous on this car. It's way too slow. Like, damn, boys, am I slow? Get back here! I'm tired of kill assists. All I can get is kill assists. Everybody has bigger guns than me. Oh, mine are overheated. Haha! -ha, you're dead. Oh, what are we playing? Like, Domination now? Shit, I didn't know. That's cool. There's a flag you had to capture in that one. Oh, I got tires. I got medium wheels, improved grip, and other characteristics. Each mounted wheel reduces cabin power. Okay. Interesting. 
and then of course you get scrap. So basically it looks like you get parts after every one of these little skirmishes that you play. And I see people have already upgraded like vehicles and stuff. That guy's got a fuel tank on his. Weird looking little thing. I need to get better traction, so I'm pretty sure those tires will help with getting better traction. And I'm I'm also more of a sniper, more of a, a sit back and and gun person than a stay right in the middle. So I'm gonna be looking for a cannon. I already know I'm going to be looking for a cannon. Get back here, you miserable little dune buggy! Oh, I'm going to have to work on uh, control sensitivity here because these controls are weird. Yes! I destroyed him! New level. Oh, why not? And apparently I have another LMG. Sweet. Now the question is, how the bloody hell am I going to mount it on my truck? Um, progress, though. Why do I not have a cannon? Can I, can I get a cannon? I guess I am limited to... I guess I'm limited to doing this until I can get a cannon... And then I can go do, like, the cannon mission, maybe? Um, everybody else ha also has paint jobs. And that, guy, that dude's got two fuel barrels. What the hell? I want fuel barrels. Stop. I really hate other players. All right, I'm already telling you that this is a game that is not going to be fun to play by yourself. Other players fucking pushing you around. Oh, I'm a dead man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be a dead man in this game. I'm on fire, I lost a wheel. No, I lost three wheels, I'm dead. All right, so you respawn next round, okay. Well, I kinda ran into their entire freaking team and that was, that was marginally disappointing there. I got some assists, but that's it. We still won though. I took one for the team. All right, so you can't respawn. That's that's kind of crappy. Carjack. Oh, okay. That's kind of unique. So if you flip over your vehicle, you can flip it back over yourself. Um, okay. I didn't know you could flip your vehicle, period. Well, it might be a little bit boring to start off with because you're forced to play the same thing. I'm going to try and play, um, I really want to play a raid. That's what I really want to do is I want to play a raid, but I don't know if this little tiny weak-ass vehicle is going to be strong enough for a raid. Figure I'll just go around the outside, lure that guy back in. Now all I need to do is get rid of this dune buggy right here. Yeah, ram him. Put him between me and my, me and the other guy. Oh, that guy's about to die! Die! Yes! Yes, there we go. You are full of bullet holes and nothing but scrap now. Really, stop pushing me, asshole. God, teammates are more annoying than enemies. Cool landscape, though. Definitely a cool landscape. The controls are very easy to overcorrect on, so I will say that. Very easy to overcorrect. 
I'm going to have to get used to playing that. All right, so if you win, every time you win, you get some basic material. Like, that's the second fuel barrel. Now, my question is, if I have two fuel barrels... What's that? Uh, shot 50 parts off of enemies. Nice. I don't see a point in two fuel barrels, but I would have to be careful about a fuel barrel as well. Like, a fuel barrel doesn't seem like something that you want to have on your vehicle at all times. And so far, I only see, like, one person that has a fuel barrel. But that dude actually has two fuel barrels, which doesn't make sense. I really want to reconfigure these machine guns to place three on top. God, I'm stuck on a teammate again. Teammates literally, they, they just stop moving and... Oh my god. Teammates are more fucking annoying than the enemy. Jesus Christ, let me move, you dumb old dinglings. Demolition Derby with a worst case scenario. Your teammates are trying to kill you. Oh, I got a new cab. Sweet. What the hell does this do? Cabin for small truck. A bit slow, but with great tonnage. Alright, so engine speed, max speed, power. Adds energy. All right, so basically you're going to be limited to the number of items that you can put on a vehicle. That kind of makes sense, though. Now, the question is, I wonder if I'll be able to sell these extra parts, like the extra fuel barrels and stuff, because that's really not what I want. I want uh, weaponry. I want to have at least, like, four machine guns if I'm not able to get a cannon. Hi, Doom Buggy Biatch. Get back here. I want to run you over. Well, surprisingly, aside from the odd controls and the bad teammates, this game could be surprisingly... What the hell kind of vehicle is that? You guys seeing that thing? It's like a tower vehicle. Who in the world would make a tower vehicle? Why is that even possible? Okay, that was amusing. Definitely amusing. What did I get? I got another carjack. Okay. I got all kinds of badges too. I got MVP and... Oh, ass <laughs> assistant. Angel of death. Destroy four enemies less than 10 seconds between each kill okay i have angel of death too bad it won't give me an emblem that i can paint on my vehicle i'm really tired of this brown this like dirty dirty crap brown truck looks like i pulled it out of a junkyard i think i did <laughs> as far as like terms of lore go all right is there a way to overview the map no there isn't okay Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, I didn't know that you could, uh, you could flip like that. Good thing I had my jack. You, good sir, made the mistake that I did and ran straight into the enemy team. Oh, as long as they're in front of me, dude, I can keep them lit up. All three guns. But they have to be in front of me for that.
And apparently when it gets down to like the last couple enemy, it marks them on the map for you. That's dope. Now you'll notice I stop accelerating to engage when they're at a distance. And I think that's something that a lot of these other players, at least the ones I'm facing right now, don't do. But I prefer to do that. The reason why I'm preferring to do that is I can get a few more accurately placed hits before um, they usually start shooting me, at least right now. And I'm thinking that what I'm gonna want is I'm gonna want a cannon. I'm gonna want like one, if it'll let me, one heavy cannon and maybe two light machine guns. And I think that's gonna be like the ultimate setup. And that dude has an extremely wide car. Why does he have an extremely wide car is the question. Now, I'm going to go opposite of my team, which could, in theory, be either a good move or a devastatingly bad move. Just depends on which way the enemy team goes. Alright, you got to keep that stupid wide-ass lawnmower thing away from me there, buddy. I'm looking for fuel barrels, but I don't see fuel barrels, so there's no no weak points. And while we're all sitting there in a giant cluster banging frickin' weird vehicle shit, <laughs> the enemy's just shooting the piss out of my truck. I think I lost some armor. Alright, this is an encounter, so we have to go take whatever this smoking thing is up here. It looks like. We. I don't know what we're doing or why we're doing it, but we're doing it. Winner, win 10 battles against live players. Well, damn. Thank you for giving me a easy emblem. And apparently I am going to have more car jacks than I know what to do with. How do I sell a car jack? Well, I'm going to do another couple missions here. Um, then I'm going to try and rebuild. I need another machine gun. I only got one. So I need at least one more. I'm also kind of curious how you slaved groups as well. Because it says like fire control group one, fire control group two, fire control group three. You know? And I'm like, how... The hell do you do that why why you random ass maggot no no I'm gonna keep you pinned up against the wall because you're being a piece of crap yeah yeah buddy you made a freaking boat anchor there jackass doesn't even deserve to play the game. You're going to make a vehicle that literally in hinders the rest of your team. That's so dumb. Dumbest thing I've seen all day. You literally get stuck on it because of the way his uh, frame is built. That's so stupid. Alright. I mean, other players, I, I guess... That's what's going to really tick me off in this game is other players just doing stupid stuff. I'm going for the objective. Those guys can just muck around all by themselves. I'll chill over here. Capturing the enemy base. Hell yeah. I hope it gives me somebody other than that dum dum. LM54 George, alright. 
See, I don't mind people making custom vehicles and everything. I get that's like half the fun or supposed to be like half the fun of this game. Receive no damage in battle. All right, that's cool. Um, I just don't like it when they go and they make something that it's going to compromise the rest of the team because like you can't pass it. You get stuck on it. They turn into you and push you. I, I hate that. Like, everybody stick with, you know, a vehicle type. Like, you know, a car, a truck, a tank. That idiot decided to make a right-hand turn. See, this is the map that I got mucked over on before by heading straight into their team. Now, the difference is if I stay back, everybody up there, they're all just running in and, and driving around and massacring each other, which is fine. But I can stay back a bit and use all three of my machine guns to basically pinpoint and slave right in on them as they're stuck in the water. I love doing that. Yeah, I can already tell my play style is going to be with a cannon. Basically make like a sniper truck. I tell you, some of these matches go by quick. Please tell me I got another. <gasps> I got a shotgun. Yay. Not my play style, but super stoked because it's something new. Deadly at close range. Um, Why do I want a shotgun? That is definitely not my play style. I could see like an up armored vehicle with maybe a ramming grill heavy armor and just like two shotguns right on the front I could see that being pretty pretty awesome but I don't play close I don't like to play up oh good lord I got the tractor with the ramming bars on my team there's somebody who doesn't know how to drive in front of me alright again I'm gonna stay back a bit that guy needs support though and I can support him very easily done toasted being able to get that fire rate from all three machine guns on the vehicle at one time devastating he's done he's toasted I'm going two against one though not gonna sit there two against one I'll stay back while they only can get one or two machine guns on me I can get all three firing on them and stay out of range of shotguns if they have them. My weapon systems are a bit overheated though. I don't like that. Damn, they overheated quick. Alright, that one's done. Where's the guy that's supposedly behind me? Oh, he was back there. Damn, I didn't even see him. Play into that guy. Yeah, that's definitely going to be my play style, is laying back a bit. Alright, so it looks like what you have to do is you have to play this till level 6. And then level 6, it says I can do get the cannon. And when you do get the cannon, that's going to allow me to complete that mission that I have for the raids. Overall, not bad. So far, other than the teammates, I'm having fun with this game. And I think it's just going to be you have to figure out your play style. And I've always been more of a ranged person. So whether my weapons are vehicular mounted or not, I'm good with... Uh, see, if I had a cannon, I could hit those guys way over there as soon as they come over the hill. And that's what I'm going for. Yeah, see, they're going to take after that group. Forgetting about little old me. And I'm just going to come up slowly behind them and wreck their shit. Alright. They're going to go this way, though. I think that guy had up armor because I did not. I wasn't able to do much against him. 
Alright. There he is. Hi, buddy. I'm back. Yeah, you thought I was going to sit there and wait for you, didn't you? No, I'm not going to sit there and wait. Demolition. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Damn you. He got away. I took some damage there, so... Oh, that's why. I lost a wheel. <laughs> I lost a wheel. No wonder why my vehicle wasn't, like, moving for crap. All right, I got the LM54 again. And how close to leveling does that put me? Uh, almost one quarter. So I would say within four matches. Sweet. Um, I'm going to get Engineers 2 within this match. And then I think I might uh, back out and try and re-customize my vehicle. It seems to be matching us fairly even by PS. Uh, so I would say until you get comfortable with the game, you don't want to have an extremely high PS score because it's going to match you against people with, like, freaking artillery cannons and shit. Stop cutting me off, dude. Oh, this would be a nice point to snipe. This would have been a hell of a nice point if I had cannon. Alright, weapon damage does drop off over range, though. So that's good to know. As you see, as he gets closer and his name actually appears, I'm able to do more damage with the weapons. Like, higher damage numbers. That dude took hella damage on his approach. Now I'll just come down in here oh yeah this is gonna be a pretty cool game I, I can feel it at least I think it's gonna be a pretty cool game for now I gotta put some better tires which I only got one tire so I don't know if if one tire will work or if I need more than one tire I might need to earn four tires Possibly. And then I wonder what happens if I put a spare tire on my vehicle. If I put a spare tire on my vehicle, like right on the back of my truck, do you think that when I got like a tire blown off, it would put the spare tire on or give me an option to do that? That's what I'm wondering. What I want to do though, this machine gun, that one on the front of the truck isn't hitting much. So I want to see if I can space them out over the cab, like one tile over the cab, and then put two heavies in the uh, in the center of the truck. Because it looks like there'd be enough room to mount at least three on the top of the vehicle. No, don't flip. There we go. All right, they're probably going to be coming around right there. This guy's definitely, he's engaged with one, but he's already engaged by himself. There's my team. I was backing off just enough to wait for one ally or two allies. Die, you cursed tractor. Get back here. I'm going to blow off your wheel. That guy has a fuel barrel. Why does he have a fuel barrel? Hmm. Burst fire definitely helps on controlling when your weapon overheats too. Well, right now we're pretty much all evenly matched against each other. I have now new skills available under the Master Jack, my driver. That's pretty cool. I just really want to get, if I have to use this body of the truck, I think what I'm going to have to do is put two light machine guns on the hood and then put the cannon in the back of the truck, like in the bed of the truck. 
think that's the only way it's going to let me put a cannon on there. Because if it lets me put a cannon on the roof, that would just be ridiculous. There should be no logical reason to mount a cannon on the cab of this vehicle. I would also like to do something slightly about the stability of this. The vehicle is pretty stable, but traction, eh, not so much for off-roading. So maybe with any luck, I'll have those tires and we'll be good. Four new tires should help. I have to say this is pretty cool because you don't get destroyed in like one shot. But then again, it doesn't take years to destroy an enemy either. Yeah, you just lost your tire there, buddy. And now you're dead. I wish I knew exactly what was considered weak points so I knew where to shoot. Like if tires or cab was weak point, what is considered the weak point? That's what I need to know. Well, there's my second tire, small wheel ST, more reliable and has better mass tolerance. Each mounted wheel reduces cabin power. Okay. Well, I haven't found a power source yet that gives me more power. And that's a small wheel. I don't want a small wheel. If anything, I want bigger wheels. I want like all terrain, not monster truck tires, but like good all terrain tires. If I have those, then in theory, again, this is only theory crafting, but it should increase the vehicle's performance. If I can increase my vehicle's performance, get a little bit better traction and handling, that should help when I do eventually get a cannon, if I can get a cannon. All right, see, there, there they are right now. And if I had a cannon... Now see, I do not want to be first in line taking all that damage. I'll blow off his wheel. Alright, he's got no wheels. He's dead. He's dead. That guy flipped, so he's an easy mark. Um... I think my vehicle took a bit of engine damage. It's moving very slow. All right, come on, man. Just give me, give me level five already. There's another fuel barrel special mod. Yeah, see, it deals 450 damage, and that's what concerns me. I'm pretty sure that if somebody has a fuel barrel and you shoot the fuel barrel, that that fuel barrel will be enough to destroy your vehicle. So I think fuel barrels are gonna be very, very dangerous. How the hell is my PS 1103 and I haven't equipped anything different? Hmm, okay. That's weird. Maybe my kill count helped with that? Again, I'll just do the same thing I did before. I'll let them go up front and take the armor. They can bleed armor, and I'll just bleed all three machine guns. Yeah, that's a lot smarter than charging them. Come on, let me... That's so weird that uh, I kind of like side side flipped on a puddle. All right, I need one more game, I bet. Yeah, one more game to level up. And this LM-54, I'm going to have so many LM-54s, it's not even funny. <laughs> so I hope I can sell them because it's just giving me LM-54s, LM-54s, like constant, nonstop. And about 16 to 20 scrap so i know i've been playing this for a while and so far 
I would say my overall impression with it is pretty good. I like it. And I haven't said that about games recently. Now, I think if you could find a decent team to play with... Oh, that guy's got a cool setup. He's got, like, four guns right on the front of his car. That would be cool. See that? That guy right there... Baffery 33, whatever his name is, he's got basically the same default truck as me. So right now, everybody running around in this race pretty much has the default trucks. Or almost most of them have default trucks. Now that guy, he's got some upgraded armor. Stop ramming into me, teammates. You guys are dumb. I'm definitely going to keep that winch on my vehicle. I didn't think it would be good, but damn, it's coming handy. This is my base. Alright, tell me that was enough XP. Really? That wasn't enough XP? Okay, you can hover over and see. 19,475 of 22,500. Okay. And it gave me another fuel barrel. So basically, a one more game should have it. Should have enough to, uh, to fill that up for level 5. Which, in theory, it won't give me access to the cannon. And I'm definitely going to be a bit disappointed about not having access to the cannon. But I can already see how this game's going. You have 60 fuel, and it takes 20 to do a raid. So you're going to need to use fuel barrels so that you can do another raid. Otherwise, I, I'm assuming this game has microtransactions. It has to have microtransactions. Most games like this that are free do. I haven't run into a paywall yet. Then again, I haven't really done anything outside of some of the beginning content and I would recommend you do the same thing stay in these stay in these machine gun raids till you have well it's not even a raid it's just a machine gun pvp stay in it till you have the best machine guns that you can have see that guy just ran a 2v1 and lost ah height advantage up here Now, it doesn't look like machine guns actually run out of ammo. They merely overheat. And that's kind of cool, but they overheat quick. Ooh. Oh, I got a cannon! Boys, I got a cannon. I got the Avenger 57mm cannon. Ballistic lead, huge damage, limited firing angle. Okay. Four bars of damage, two bars for fire rate, extremely high range and accuracy. I got my cannon, and I didn't even have to play in a cannon match. All right, that makes no sense. It said possible rewards under this playlist was all assault rifles, not cannons. So how the world I have a cannon, I don't understand, but I do have a cannon now. I am going to have to figure out how to mount that sucker and use it because right there that's where i'd be using my cannon just leading up as that little piddly car comes running by on the bridge because he thinks he's good and then i'll just engage those guys down there because they're going to do limited damage to me firing at me with possibly one maybe two maybe two machine guns i can keep all three machine guns on them though oh yeah this is nice Now, these machine guns don't do much damage at this range, that's for sure, but I am not taking damage, like, at all. And if I had a cannon, that would have been so much cooler right there. Well, we've proved two things. It is entirely possible to get a reward 
that is not in the rewards playlist. And two, you can keep getting rewards. So this is the last match. Then I go back and customize and maybe we'll try a raid. My whole goal was to have a cannon before going into the raid. I feel like raids are going to be very difficult. If they're anything like raids in other games. God damn it, you moron. Stop turning into me. I hate that. People need to make up their mind where they're going when they start, not after they start. It's dumb. Now this match doesn't have the range for me to actually snipe. That guy's done. Okay, you can shoot the weapons off of vehicles as well. That's sick to know. So like that guy couldn't even shoot me because his weapons were gone. Seasoned engineer reach reputation level five with the engineers. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go to the garage. Yes, return to the garage. Oh my, I have a lot of stuff unlocking. Damn, there's a level three unlock. More blueprints. Holy. Running boards, hatchets. Top parts limit raised to 30. Got a portrait, a canvas roof. Driver, master jack leveled up. Engineers. Oh, that's cool. What is this? Engineers are not just missions, rewards, and fireside chats. We'll also let you build new parts from scrap using our benches if you can't find the right part in battle. Why not produce it yourself? All right, cool. Oh, you can sell them on the black market, cool. I gotta participate in raids. Copper in raids, join a raid. Okay, that's nice, but I want to build. Can I build? Yes, I can build. Yeah. All right, this camera's weird. Energy, seven of seven. I can only have seven of seven parts. How do I get more energy? Frame. What part is it that lets me do energy? Oh my. I cannot get used to this non inverted freaking control stuff. Okay, that's the car jack, so that doesn't help. Maybe the cab is the base one. I want to put a cannon on here. How the f do I put a cannon on here? Huh. 
running board. Hmm. Here, I have one medium wheel. I'm gonna need to wait to get more medium wheels. When fully empties ammo reserves in raids, automatically refill one minute, 30 seconds. Jesus! How am I supposed to mount that? <laughs> How am I supposed to mount it to my vehicle? I want to mount it, but I don't know how I'm supposed to mount that thing. Alright, let's get rid of that machine gun in the front. Oh god dang it, clicked on the wrong thing. This is gonna this is gonna be so annoying, the controls for building your Wow. I cannot get used to the controls. This free movement shit. Alright. No, I want to take that off of my vehicle. I want to replace it. <sighs> Come on. How do I replace it? Oh no, I don't want to dismantle the entire vehicle. I just don't want this friggin' machine gun on there anymore. There we go. B. Shit. Um. Oops. Oops! I have... Uh... Uh... Um... Well then. Okay. That's better. I mucked up there and took off the cab of my vehicle. Use different cab or install an energy generator. Damn. Okay, maybe I can get rid of... Get rid of that. And we'll take... That. Move the light machine gun... Can't mount it to the side of the vehicle. That's a bit depressing. God, it's going to take forever to get used to the movement controls for moving the parts and everything. Now maybe, no, let me build game. Now maybe I can put on the, the cannon.
requ require three more energy points. Damn. Okay. Well, let's try remove, remove, remove. Now I got this other cab. Ugly ass cab, I might say. liking the uh that cab the way it looks though all right well let's get back to building and see let me go to a more aerial view let's see what parts do i have frame vehicle frame this part can only hold wheels cabins and other frame blocks all right van side let's see I have two van sides. Oh, come on, that is so... Wow, is it so difficult to frickin' put parts on there? Give me my damn inverted controls. Nope, I can't weld like that. All right, that part's not going to work. Um, might have no choice but to go with the fender. I want to try and put it on top of the other fender here. Oh, you can't stack fenders on top of fenders either. Shit. That's not going to work. God, I need more of a platform to put my, um... Hmm. Maybe this will work. Oh God, angle, camera angle, please. Ugh. <laughs> There we go. This might work. God dang it, hit the wrong button again. This control scheme. Arg. I hate this control scheme. God, it 
it is so difficult with these floating controls to get anything to line up where you want it. Alright, the one thing, all I want to do is do a raid, because this would literally take me like half a freaking hour to build a vehicle right now, which is retarded. I need to put my cannon on. Now the question is, with the cannon, I was trying to build up the bed so that I could have the cannon in the back, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to have said cannon in the back. I want to try and get the cannon in the middle of my damn truck. Which doesn't look like it's going to be... There we go. Yeah, cannon time. Now the question is, if I still have enough energy... Let's see, this is damage rate 1... Damage rate two. Really? No, no spot for me to fasten it. Maybe I can fasten it to the side. Oh yeah, I can fasten it to the side. Oh, that just looks weird. <laughs> that looks so freaking weird. There we go, we have a bumper, even though I have really no intention of... Come on, rotate spike. Okay. Really? Took my bumper off? God dang it, the game. All right, we'll just use spikes instead. Come on, game. You know what? Screw it. I'll just put the regular bumper on there. Oh my goodness, it doesn't line up. There we go. Now that lines up. All right, just make it really simple. Uh, what does this do? A grill ripped from a car. Damage passes through it. Well, that makes no sense. Power score. I've got nothing to increase the amount of weaponry that I can uh, put on, so that's disappointing.
Yeah, that looks ugly. That looks extremely ugly, but... Uh, let's test drive it real quick. Very limited firing arc. Okay, yeah, wow. That cannon might not be the best thing. It, I have to turn the vehicle to fire with the cannon. Like, you have a little bit... You have a little bit of upward movement. Okay, no, you have a considerable... Weird. Okay. Definitely slow moving with this cannon. Let's go to a raid real quick, see how bad this vehicle does. This is a basic siege. It rewards you. Large gang raiders. Uh, it gives you coupons. And it gives you copper. Okay, let's do it. Waiting for battle. Average wait time. Wow, not bad at all. Now, I don't know how good I'm going to do, so this could be a horrible showing because of the fact that, I mean, I have a cannon on my vehicle. So, I can shoot to the left just fine, and I can shoot with limited range in front of me with that cannon. So I am definitely more of a more of a sniper vehicle. Mission ends in 15 seconds. What? What? How the hell did we lose? What kind of crap is that? Uh, what? Alright, let me just redo that real quick. That was pathetic. How the hell did we lose on that? I guess everybody doing the raid for the first time, not knowing what they're doing. Raids are gonna be annoying as hell. Seek and destroy. All right. Well, I'm seeking, I'm looking, I don't know what anyone else is doing. And my vehicle is definitely slow as shit with that, uh, this thing on, that's for sure. Damn, this cannon doesn't do much damage. Damn. 
Alright, maybe I don't want a cannon, guys. Maybe I actually just want machine guns. That thing has a cannon, though. It's mucking me up, too. My truck is about to explode. Damn, that guy's got a heavy armored vehicle. Holy. Wow, how does everybody else have all these heavily armored things? That thing's cool as shit. And that one too. Oh, everybody else has all the cool stuff. No wonder why my vehicle got blown up. Um, I did get five copper. I got three coupons. Can be exchanged for unique rewards from engineers. Alright, let's see what unique rewards from engineers there are. And I will consider getting rid of that cannon, because that cannon did not do that much damage. Oh, faction blueprints? I can get, do the Viper. Okay, that's the Viper. The starter car and the Viper. Okay. And then I have mine, which is, yeah, I, I actually don't like that cannon. I really don't. I think for now I'll just use the Viper. I don't know. It's hard to say which one would really be better. Where do I use coupons? Rep rewards. Alright, so I just gotta keep getting levels to get more of these blueprints and everything. Daily limit of fuel increased. Increased, increased, increased. All right. All right, so pretty badass parts along the way. If you get to level 30, parts limit to 80. Okay. So that's what that does. Manufacturing requires level 7. Manufacturing in those requires 10. What are these?
Whoa. What the hell are these? You need wires, electronics, copper, uranium ore. You also need... Damn, it's crazy. What's this though? Oh, it's a rail gun. Great accuracy, ideal for any scope. Well, too bad I have a uh, don't have a scope. You need the scorpion fragment. You need a hammer flail. You need a mini gun. Damn, that's some expensive manufacturing stuff. What's basic manufacturing give you? Turret cannon, that would be better. Reaper. Oh, it's an auto cannon. That's what that guy had. Great accuracy and aiming. Okay. And you need more docker cabins more wheels why do you need wheels to make that so weird you can buy repair kits but it takes scrap and copper to make a repair kit all right you can make a radiator a weapon cooler ammo pack Increases ammo reserves for each weapon by 30%. When destroyed, explodes and deals 500 damage in a 5 meter radius. Damn. That's, that's dangerous to have. Scope. Oh my goodness, there's so many cool things that you can make in this game. Patented engineer's technology allows to build wheels with no tire. What? I want treads. How do I get treads? All right, so this is kind of like what I had sort of built. It's got the cannon on it and the one machine gun. And the miner. Oh, it's got side mounted LMGs. Cool. All right, let me see if I can uh, if I can mod this just a little bit more, real quick. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So I'm I'm unhappy with this vehicle's performance. I'm very unhappy with that cannon. mount it just a little bit forward. Ah, the mounting system in this game. So weird. All right, there's two of the mid machine guns. Now, can I mount one of the Hornets in the center? Can actually. A 
Okay. Begs the question, can I mount a hornet to the door? If I take it and I turn it like that to the driver's side. Oh, that's cool. So maybe I'll do the same thing. All right, this might make the vehicle a little bit better. Two side mount, two top mount. Now I need to start gaining fuel. So this fuel barrel is gonna be a bit on the important side, I would think. Oh god, no, I don't want to mount it there. Mount it inside the vehicle, game. Okay. I just don't want that fuel barrel getting blown up. We'll play one game with this vehicle after that and uh, and just see how it does. Now I just need something to cover the back. Now the question is, can I use a van panel to cover it from the roof? I might see if I have one. Nope, cannot use one to cover it from the roof. Okay, how about, yes, this grill, this grill will work. might have the start to a a bit of a mean thing here maybe I really don't want the spike to mount vertically I want it to mount Okay, maybe I can't weld it to the bumper. Alright, never mind. We'll skip the spike. Uh, can I put on another LMG? Nope. Energy is maxed. This thing is definitely a hodgepodge frickin' meh construction. Oh god, that, that part's 
That part's not on right. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. turn, turn, like that. Let's put the ramp on the outside of it. We'll play one game afterwards. I know the video is getting a bit long. All right. There we go. Battle. Mission. Whoa, 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 game. Come on. I want to go to missions. I want to do get the machine gun. All right, let's try it. One game. I did not fully anticipate having an hour and a half video, but, eh, it's okay. That's why it gives you a good idea of how quickly time can really pass on this game. So now I'm fighting people in the PS level 2000s area. That guy just blew himself up. What the fuck? All right, my my vehicle is slow. It's definitely slow. This is not a speed demon, that's for sure. But I have two heavy machine guns and two light machine guns. So I have one more gun than what I had before. And I have the fuel barrel, so I'll be getting fuel every time I complete one of these matches. That's really weird trying to drive this freaking vehicle. Oh, come on, teammate. Stop fucking ramming me, douchebag. I think they're trying to capture our base. Interesting. Shit. We're all trying to capture the enemy base. Uh, yeah, so right in front of me, I can definitely deliver all four machine guns. Actually, I can shoot almost 360. What? What? How are we defeated? Um, okay. I don't know how we were defeated on that. And uh, only get 11 scrap. So losing rewards? Losing rewards are very bad. And I'm going to have to work on... I'm going to have to work on getting rid of some weight on my vehicle. I don't like being that slow. I need a turret cannon. And I need like a weapon cooler. So it's definitely going to take some time to build up a, a good good vehicle my parts i can use a bunch of parts but that doesn't really help me because none of the parts give me more power so i'm just this really slow freaking vehicle right now What? Okay. I guess he had ramming. Everybody, everybody's going for ramming, apparently. Wow, maybe my, my cannons don't do much good at all. Like we're gonna lose another match. I'm just gonna watch this dude because he seems to know what he's doing.
Man, I wish my vehicle was more armored like that. Oh, this guy's gonna lose because he's getting rammed and blown up. All of his weapons were taken out. And this guy's nothing but a really long thing. Oh yeah, he's dead. We lost. He's, he's the last guy left alive, and his vehicle is pretty ass broken right now. And he's got a shotgun and an LMG on it. He can't even get anywhere. Well, shit. I went from not losing a game at all to now going up against all these customized rigs and really losing every match. Alright. This is going to take some time to get used to, that's for sure. Oh, this guy's dead. He just got obliterated. I gotta figure out how these other people have more power. Why they can have more weapons on their vehicles than I can. It doesn't make sense. Let's go to the garage. Get out of there. That's definitely a little disappointing. I didn't... My machine guns didn't even do shit. Nothing at all. Alright, so side mounted. It's not gonna work. Alright. Um, the Hornet. We're just gonna remove. We're gonna remove both Hornets. Because they're not helping. I'm going to replace the Hornets with something that does a little more damage. Alright. Acceleration's high, speed is low. What happens if I remove that? Acceleration goes up a bit. Alright, so your speed and acceleration go up the less your your tonnage is. Okay. Last one. Do to get the machine gun. Okay. Alright. I've got a bit of improved momentum now. I'm still not as fast as I would like to be, though. Like everyone else, it's really fast. And also, everyone else is using those cannons now, so... I don't know, maybe I should be using a cannon as well. I just... really didn't like the cannon. Alright, LMGs definitely do better damage with a little bit of maneuverability. Alright, I'm doing better here. My vehicle is a little boxy. It's all designed to protect that fuel barrel though.
Okay. All right, there we go. Back to a possibly usable victory type thing that also gave me a tire, five fuel because of the fuel barrel, and 19 scrap. Okay. So this is basically what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to keep farming these little PvP games in order to get fuel to do the raids. Hope you have a good team for the raid in order to get copper, in order to build better materials. And that's basically how it's going to go. So it kind of makes sense now uh, that I've played the game a little bit at least. Uh, this is definitely going to come down to team orientated and how good your team is um, otherwise it's going to be annoying and I do need to get a power generator a power generator is going to be very very important how is he doing more damage than me I have a ramming bar on All right, oh, that's how I lost a gun. All right. He shot off one of my weapons. I really need a weapon cooler thing on this truck. Maybe I'll take off some of the armor. I'll, I'll run two specs. I'll run one spec with a fuel barrel on it, so I get fuel from doing this, and I'll run another spec without a fuel barrel on it. And then that spec won't need the armor. Fucking idiot teammate. God damn, I hate teammates. I really do. They're just like, oh, let me, you know, come up behind you and push you off the road because, yeah, why not? And that guy doesn't have a freaking self-jack thing. Come on, teammate, stop pushing me. Jesus. Fucking teammates are going to be the death of me. Alright, I've got to get a better team that doesn't just run up around you and muck with you all the damn time. But good to know that that can be done. I have 10 fuel. So almost enough fuel to go do a raid. And basically this is just going to be sitting here farming that. That's, that's what the game's going to be. Uh, garage, let's see, can I go to, let me just try and do something real quick. Um, what option do I have with that gun action? No, that's not what I want. I want to know how I sell shit. Market. Oh, damn. That's the currency. Holy hell. Can I sell stuff here? How do I... How do I sell? Damn, there's all kinds of, like, epic packs and... All stuff that I can't get that these people have built. Holy hell. Large wheels. Crazy. I don't have any money because I can't sell anything and I don't know how to sell it. Um, nope, that doesn't work. I 
shop. Oh no, that's to buy stuff from the store. What the hell are these? Halo Scarab. There's a scarab thing. Oh, these are just people making vehicles. Wait, somebody made a house. Aim down. Leviathans. Hindi 500. Fuel, fuel pearl, they made a battleship. Iron battleship, working plane. Wow, world eater, damn. People get creative with these vehicles, that's for sure. Well, I don't know how to sell, so I think I'm gonna end the vehicle thing there because, um, I don't know what to do. Oh, I can buy it. I can sell it. Can I trade it? Ninety-eight buy orders starting at point eighteen. What the hell? How do I do this? Sell it. Buyer pays for one piece. Really, I can't enter. Okay, there, there we go. Oh, man. Okay, so. You take the 10% fee, deal or sum. That's how you sell stuff. It's not really worth it, though. Selling stuff at this time. I'm just going to stockpile and go from there. Fuel. What can I do with fuel? I can buy it. I can sell it. I can trade it. I can pour into my tank. I'm going to pour it into my tank. Yes, I want to pour it into my tank. There we go market it okay all right well now that I know how to do everything um, I don't know how to save this uh, I don't know how to save this loadout oh yep under blueprints I want to get rid of that one yes delete the blueprint I want to save this as the new WTF blueprint alright so now I have my blueprint at least so that's how you save your vehicle it's not a bad vehicle it's a bit slow but it does have a fuel barrel that's well protected and I didn't blow up so kind of sort of happy with that um, the only other thing that I really wish that I could do is figure out Oh, okay, you can paint the parts. Paint all. Yay, I now have a lime green buggy. Can't paint the windshield, that's ugly though. Oh god, that thing is ugly. <laughs> it's even uglier lime green than it was before. Alright, I have to quit messing with this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This game is kind of fun when you get into it. Uh, a little bit too much, actually, because you just spend a lot of time on it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay frosty.